Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Abhuvan Shaktivel. In this video, uh, I'm going to speak about how to do an actual open source contribution. So, so this this video is a little uh, peculiar because you know normally I used to make how to do this, how to do uh, write code and all that. Uh, but uh, basically, a lot of learning that I got um, uh, is because I started to contribute to open source. So. Uh, where you get feedback from uh, people who who really know how to code, right? Uh, so so this is one such contribution. I thought I will I will make this video so you can see um how I think, how I proceed, how I write tests, and you know how how I create the PRs. You know, so so yeah. Without wasting much time, um, you know, uh, I will go into the PR again. This is for the Selenite project, and some some of you might not know what is Selenite. Selenide is a wrapper on, on top of Selenium, which can help you to write fluent, concise, and readable uh, test automation code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new type command. Basically, we have send keys, which basically sends a bunch of uh, uh, characters into the text field. Um, and then there is set value method from, from Selenide that basically uses JavaScript executor to set values into the input field. But this type command will be really useful if you have auto uh, drop down suggestions. For example, you have to type like a user and then the, the suggestion comes and then you need to select it, right? So without wasting much time, uh, let me go into the uh, the PR. So I already created the PR, but uh, you know, it was long back, almost three months or on March 7, it seems. So, so it was long back and then it I didn't notice that I created this PR and then, you know, I missed it. So, so the the understanding is, um, set value and send keys uh, actually not help if you have auto suggestion drop down, right? So we need to mimic user behavior. Like some some people will actually what they do, they will type one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So something like this. So you want to do something like this. Um, so there is a delay between each uh, character that we type, right? So so I want to create a new method called as type. Uh, which can be used while interacting with auto suggestion drop down and you can write code something like this right so find the element and check whether it is visible and then you can uh, type what you want to type and then press the down arrow which means you choose the first option in the suggestion and then press enter so this is how basically i want to make the code right so i pushed it, uh, some code and then uh, the author of this selenium project uh, asked me uh, it, this is same as type but also with with a pass on every Key press. Yes, it's it's exactly that. But he told uh, in the initial comments that I pushed, I have hot coded with two hundred default uh, uh, milliseconds before each time uh, characters to get typed. Um, and then uh, he told you should not be hot coding this. I, I think it's better to you make it as an um, input so people can customize when they need it. Right. So because see in my project, if I put two hundred milliseconds, it works. But Selenium is a very big project, and people all over the world will use it. So, so it makes sense um, what he's he is recommending, right? So, uh, so I I thought of adding a overload method uh, and then the delay time. But the but the problem is I I this is a constructor, right? So this is a static method which basically passes parameters to the constructor. Um, but what he wants to do is something like type option. So he wants to create a uh, type options class so the code becomes more readable right so so he is telling uh, you need to create type options and then also there may be people who wants to remove whatever in the input field and then start typing so he wants to add something like this okay so so i did all the changes but again uh, he mentioned see this is how your code is now looking like so if somebody wants to use type options class then they will pass the text but these two are uh, not understandable. Somebody sees passing a lamp, uh, you know, boolean to a method, they don't understand what it really is, right? So, so that's what uh, even I know this according to clean code book and everything. You should not be passing a boolean to a method, which which obviously is not good to practice because you you lose the readability. And that's what the uh, Andre is suggesting here. You can uh, create methods like this. So, so the code becomes more readable. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is a very small improvement with the code that I already written. So again, guys, uh, if you want to contribute to an open source project, first you need to uh, fork that particular repository from, so if you notice, um, so this is the original project. I forked it, which means 
this project will come to your um, uh, your your particular GitHub. Once you do that, um, again there seems to be forty three commits behind. So what I can do is I can update the batch, which means it'll pull the latest code from here to my repository. Now I need to create a PR uh, branch in in my machine, and then I need to uh, create a PR comparing the folks between this repository and this repository. So don't worry about it. I can I will explain how to do that. So so now let me go here. Um, so I already have uh, add type command branch. Uh, just to make sure that I have the latest code, what I'm doing is um, I'll do a git pull just to make sure I have the latest code, right? So, okay. So now I have the latest code. What I'm going to do is in the type action class, um, I'm currently having, this is the protected constructor um, that needs three inputs. So what value they want to send? how much duration they want to wait before typing something um, and should do they want to clear the field before typing. So this is good. We can expose this as public, but uh, you know, we are using static methods for readability, right? So as I mentioned before, you notice the code here, it, it is more readable, okay? Uh, it is more readable than I can just say uh, type and then new, uh, something right, so I cannot, I don't have to do all the constructor things, so I don't have to expose the constructor here. Um, and then using static method for readability. So, first thing that I'm going to do is instead of with, um, he suggested to use text, right? So, which is so type with text is, is good, right? Type text is also good. So, I what I can do is I can change this. Um, so I'll create a new uh, method, I will remove the old one later. Uh, type options, uh, text, right? So, and then if somebody is passing me a character character sequence, uh, text to type, right? That's it. So once they do this, um, what I'm going to do is return new type options and then text to type, comma, uh, what is the delay while typing? So delay is, uh, by default, it, it's a default delay, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Should we clear the field by default? Uh, no, by default, we won't clear the field. If they want, they can clear it by themselves. So, so the user is just passing one, put, one input and we assume that remaining two stuff, right? Um, that is good. But then uh, if, if let's say people want to pass uh, this value or this value, we don't want to expose them with these methods, okay? So this duration and all the stuff, right? So let's remove all these stuff. There might be some errors, that's okay. Um, or I will tell you why it is. Um, for example, uh, we are doing this, and then let's say I'm creating one more method, public static. Um, it shouldn't be static, so because we want to do a chain. So, uh, so if somebody uses text, and then after that, time out, right? So actually, with delay makes rooms, type text, type text he suggested with duration as the method name but i prefer with delay um, with type delay which makes more sense right so type text with with delay with delay and then yeah so yeah so what i can do is um with delay and then if somebody is passing me duration um and then delay time delay when typing, right? If they're passing this, right? Um, this dot, um, see, I cannot create a new constructor, okay? Because people will first call this and then this, this would set the value already here, okay? Now, with delay method, we were overriding the existing 200, right? Whatever that is set before. So now, so I just need to set here, so this dot uh, time delay while typing, okay? Equal to time delay while typing, what they passed, okay? And then what they are saying is, um, you are returning this, um, return this. So previously it was final, um, but you know, it, it shouldn't be final, similarly, I also don't want this to be final, right? Because we want this to be changed after the, after we said we are constructor. Um, and then public type options um, with 
with relay and then what is the other one so clear first right so clear first i don't think of any good name other than clear first so there should be a problem so clear first um should clear field before typing and then we we say this dot should clear field before typing should clear field right and then um okay we will not be sure whether people will use delay first or clear first so it is better to to also return type options here okay? return this okay now this looks good and we don't need to expose this otherwise people will use it um yeah so i also don't want this uh don't want this don't want this yeah yeah all looks good here let's go to the test so normally when we write something uh, we need to write a test uh, to make sure that it doesn't break anything for example this is a previous test that we have written what it does is it opens a html page again guys we are not opening a real uh, website because uh, opening a real website involves a lot of css html calls and we cannot test all the selenium events so so these guys have created their own html uh, if you notice you could find them inside src uh, test resources right so so there are a lot of different html and this one is let's say page with input events on well page with input events it should be somewhere here or what you can do is you can copy this i don't know i cannot uh, input events on clear so this is the html so you can you can open this in in a in a chrome and you can see this is a very simple field which we are going to use it for our testing right so yeah now this looks good right so let's go here and make the modification because previously i used with anymore i cannot use with so type options dot text and then i want to test with a b c oh, sorry i think it should be test just a minute i want to see yeah we are using test let's remove all this and then text as test so there will be abc already present so we are adding extra test which means it will become abc test right um and then um what i want to do is um type options text and uh, i want to test but after this i want to type using a delay which is which is basically let's say 300 right i uh, or maybe what i want to do is um of millis um and then i'll also do a static import um maybe i'll, I'll change it to 100 just to save some time um and then clear first yes I should clear the field. So whatever that exists before, it will clear the field. Okay. So seem there is only extra bracket. So all looks good, right? Um, type options without clearing the field. So I think we are testing everything here. So I don't think this is needed yet. So let's remove this. Um, and then let's try to run it. So let's try to run it. If you notice, ah, okay. So we have also touched type the Java. Um, so this is basically the command that I'm trying to create. So type is a command. If you want to create your own command, you have to extend the command of Selenium element. And then, so we are getting the type options uh, text. All looks good now. Um, so what I'm doing is, um, I don't, it makes it, it it becomes a little tricky here um you know you need to understand how this uh, command of selenate element works how this uh, object arguments works and all that maybe this is for another day but for now what you you can understand is if somebody is passing um, 
a, an argument here for the type method, I will receive them here. Okay. So this is object array. That is the argument that we are passing. So so I first I'm what I'm doing is I'm extracting the type options out of it. So if the argument of zero is a instance of type options, I return that. Okay. Otherwise, people can just simply pass text. Okay. In those cases, I will construct my own type options. Okay. And then I will clear the field based upon the needs. Um, so if you go here, I'm checking should should I clear the field before typing? If it is, then I will clear it. Okay. And then for clearing it, I'm using an um plugin called as clear, which is also created by Serenade. Um, maybe this is a, for another day, but what I'm doing is I'm typing into the field, I'm iterating through each of these characters with a delay time, and then I'm entering into them, right? So all looks good. Let's try to run it again once again and see what's happened. Again, guys, um, you can always go through the PR. The, the code is open source, so you can go through them, understand by yourself. Uh, it took eventually a little bit of time for me initially, but then I got used to how uh, code is being written in Selenite, so it becomes much easier. So I used a Chrome mode. You can also run it in home Chrome headless and other stuff, right? So basically it should type test. See, okay. So there is some, some issue, right? So first it types test, then it type APC. And what I'm expecting is it should have test ABC. So by default, Okay, I think there is some problem. So what I'm doing is um, to clear the field. Yes, by default, it should clear the field. Okay, by default, it should clear the field. Um, if people wants to, okay, if they pass false, it won't, won't clear the field. Yeah, now looks good. Right, by default, we want to clear the field. Right, otherwise it's not good. So all looks good, but then there is again some error. So let's see what is the error. should have attribute ABC test. So by default, everything will be cleared. So it, this will become ABC test. Clear first will be false, which means ABC, so test ABC. Okay, so yeah, so, so I have changed my mind. So previously by default it won't clear the field by default, but now I want that to be clearing the field, uh, which makes sense, right? So yeah, again, obviously people can make their own choice of overriding this clear first method, right? So again, um, it should work. Yes, everything is working. Now we are all set. Um, so all looks good to me. Let's go to the readme and then, okay, so yeah, it should be handled. Okay, so now everything looks fine. So what I'm going to do is commit. Um, so there are three files. Uh, one is command. Um, so what I can do is I can do, uh, so yeah, this is, this is basically a fix. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, what I did, I, I basically, this is not a fix. This is basically a refactor, um, refactor type options, type options for better readability, readability, readability. Okay. And then this is basically or this is basically test. So what I did is uh, return the type 
options test. Right. All looks good. Right. Let's push it. So once I push it to my remote, so this will come here. Okay. And then since I already have a PR open, so so you can also see it here. Uh, so there are a lot of other uh, stuff, but this is the one that I create. So let's me filter with my name. So there are other two currently open for um, selling at APM, but this is for selling night. So so let's see how it looks like. Yeah, the code got pushed and uh, So looks good. So what I'm going to do is um, element should be visible. So this is okay. And apart from this, you can also write different way, right? So that is um, people can also write like this. Want to give them the entire ones. So. Right, so instead of this, let's make it as much simple so everyone can understand. Um, type options, uh, and then people do a static import, it becomes like this, right? Good, so yeah, let's update the comment. So, yeah, so, all looks good. This is how I contributed to the uh, open source project. You can also check this PR. Uh, you can also create your own PR. You can pick some of the issues from here and then see if you could resolve that, right? So I see you guys in another great video. Uh, until then, tada, bye-bye from Omdhan. Bye.